Today we're making this modern dining table made out of entirely plywood. So you only need one single sheet of plywood to make this. The legs are made out of plywood, the tabletop is made out of plywood, and to top it off you only need two power tools, a power drill and a circular saw. The materials used was 3 4 inch birch plywood, just a single sheet, 4 by 8 and to create an industrial look, I used plywood to make the legs and painted them black. So I made my own circular saw jig to cut straight lines as you can see in the video here. It's a fairly simple jig to make and there's a lot of YouTube videos out there uh, if you want to make your own. My friends at Ryobi sent me the circular saw and power drill to complete this project. And to first start off, you can go to my website at paultrandiy for the written plans and the cut list for this project. As you can see here in the video, I mitered the corners, but you don't have to do this. This is optional. You can do this on your circular saw, but it's quite difficult, so a miter saw would be easier. But this is unnecessary unless you really want to do it, especially if you're going to edge band the uh, plywood table anyway. To put together the bottom of the table you want to start framing it and using clamps, wood glue, uh, you want to pre-drill holes for the wood screws, countersink them, and then screw them in. We have the tabletop done. This is the underside of the table. We framed it with the uh, 1.5 inch thick pieces and then now we're going to cut down our table supports put on the underside of the table and then we're going to glue up the table legs right here uh, so that we have a thicker profile before we paint them. There will be a lot of sanding involved here, hand sanding, but obviously it would be a little quicker if you have an orbital sander, but I just used my hand and just sanded the table down. Here you can see I'm creating the legs for the dining table. I'm gluing two pieces together. I used a Craig jig to put together the table legs and to secure it to the tabletop. I used one and a half inch pocket holes for the bottom of the table leg. To attach the table legs to the tabletop, I used three fourths inch pocket holes. After creating the table already, I learned a couple things that I would have done better and those will be in my written instructions on my blog. Here you can see I'm just hand painting with uh, primer and paint mixture. You know, you can use a spray can, uh, spray paint, you can spray, use a paint sprayer, or you can just brush it on like I did with my, my hand. No tools needed. Underside of the table is complete. You know, I made these uh, table legs out of wood, but I painted them black so they look like they're metal pretty much. And to support it, I also put two uh, wood pieces in between it and on the side here to basically hold the legs in place. And if I were to redo the table again, I would definitely have put the table leg in first before putting in the slats. 
and that way it would waste less material. Now this is an optional step. If you don't like the plywood look on the edge, you can just use veneer edging and it's real birch and it stains as well. So you just heat it up and iron it on. And one of the last steps, I like to use Danish oil because I thought, well, it's a polyurethane stain mixture and it can kind of give you a hybrid type of look. And then to protect your hardwood floors, you want to use furniture pads. Alright guys, thanks for watching. That's how you make this modern dining table. And remember to follow me on Instagram, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and remember, you can always do it yourself.